Okay. All right, great. It's my pleasure to welcome uh, the finalist, the runner-up in the fifth Connecticut State Championship, Ray Fogerland. Ray, congratulations on a great match. Thanks. Um, so, uh, and this is Larry Schiller, your voice of Backgammon. We're broadcasting live, streaming from uh, Windsor Locks and the Doubletree Hotel in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. Ross Gordon's the tournament director, and we've just finished the finals in the Open. Ray, you have uh, really had an amazing career in Backgammon. What is this, uh, uh, well, I don't want, uh, victory. It's a vic not a loss, it's a victory mean to you uh, today. Well, uh, I survived some adversity. That seems to be the key in backgammon for me. I lost uh, 11 to 10, but um, I lost a backgammon in the first game. <laughs> you were down 6 nothing in this yeah, match, yeah, six and nine. you fought back to 10-10. I fought back to 10-6. to six. <laughs> That's right. You were up 10-6, and you lost. Yeah. That's and then um, it seemed like... Uh, Bama never missed a shot, but that's great. You, know, you can't <laughs> rain on a guy's parade. It's his dream come true. You kind of, you know, it's a little bit devastating to lose 11 to 10. But um, but when you I've get to won 10, my share, I guess so. You uh, have. You've you've been, you've been number one in ABT uh, on, on a number of occasions, right? And and uh, yeah. And as a matter of fact, I think right now, if I had won that match, then I would be number one all time in the ABT. And as a result of losing, I'm going to be behind Neil by. Less than uh, some two fractional, of uh, a point. some fractional. All right, so your time will <laughs> come. Got nearly 600 <laughs> points each. So. How about that? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I've had my share of wins and stuff, and Bama was a good competitor, and I was smart enough to up the hedge in the last game. Yeah, that's right. You, I saw the cube and the recube, yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> you had a four cube at TMP. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, we were playing for seventeen hundred dollars, and we decided to hedge four hundred and forty or something like that. Okay. And then we just bumped it up to seven hundred when it gets down to one point match. It oh, comes down good to for you guys. Okay, that's dice. right. That's what it is, right? It's all a matter, and, and you can't feel bad about losing a DMP match. Yeah, 10 -10. you can. You can, you feel can still bad, bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw up. You now can we, projectile vomit if you want. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but you know what was the, one of the coolest things was that. Uh, I've perpetuated this myth of the two six from the bar. Oh my gosh, isn't that right? Often rolled number from the roof. I think Danny Kleiman came up with that, and so I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, I started calling it out. When it comes up. <laughs> <coughs> and at the end of the match, Bauman wouldn't put a guy on the eight point because he was worried. <laughs> I saw that. He was chicken. And one time He's I said. called it and I rolled it. And I mean, it happened uh, so many times. But uh, And you and the 2 5 wasn't bad either. You had that well, a couple yeah, that of was, times coming in. It was in. basically a joker for me if I could get away with it, but he didn't let me get away with it. So it was great for him. That was excellent. Yeah, we had a lot of fun talking about the 2 6. It's your nickname. And, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, we, we, we call Ray 2 6 because it is such a common play and it's so fun that it came up so many times here we were we were we were laughing and saying you know we really ought to not you ought to close that two point switch points if he has the opportunity just to keep you on the bar oh, a little yeah. longer yeah, yeah. It was weird. <laughs> uh, the, but the other times when i when i wasn't rolling the two six it seemed like i was fanning a little more often and uh that's a prescription for you know losing but uh i hung in there and i got ahead and i was a big favorite at some points but uh, yeah. i just didn't managed to bring it home this yeah time. now you you're a retired fireman mm -hmm. i understand so what how has your life changed since you've retired and now are devoting much more time to backgammon um i don't think it really changed a whole lot when i was a fireman uh, all my spare time was spent playing backgammon i was also always trying to be the best backgammon player in the world not the best fireman so <laughs> they probably were glad to get rid of me from the fire department yeah. but um so i just get I'm able to travel more and go play backgammon more often, and I just try to support ABT events. Do you have a favorite tournament that you like to go to? Um, yeah, Vegas, because I don't have to get on a plane. Ah, and so <laughs> we, we have two there. And, there's two uh, a year, Howard right? Howard runs there's a quality event, Moskowitz, and it's right? a little bit longer, and there's bigger entry fees, and I can be well-rested and at home. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. And now we have one coming up in uh, November. Uh, right. Is that right? And a couple uh, of weeks. A couple of weeks away, uh, three weeks away, and then there's another one in the spring. Um, uh, also, that Howard runs. Right, April and November usually. April and, and November uh, the two tournaments. I think we're switching venues. Not this year, but he's going to go to the Golden Nugget. They gave him a little better deal, so mm -hmm. we're going to be down there. And that's a, very, I understand it's a very nice playing room. And um, I think he's just finishing up at the. Um, 
flamingo now. Right, right. So this year will be the flamingo the basement the or the dungeon sort of. <laughs> <laughs> but people say it's a wonderful tournament. Howard does a great job running mm -hmm. that, running yeah. that event. Well, uh, Ray, I want to uh, again say congratulations to you Appreciate on being it. a final, a terrific, a very exciting match. A lot of fun to watch. We had yeah. a lot of viewers uh, really enjoying themselves, watching you guys battle it out. And how uh, many people were watching? On you know, I don't have the exact number, uh, but uh, you know, I know we had a. Uh, a the viewership is uh, increasing all the time, and especially when we have finals with uh, great players like uh, uh, you and Bauman, it, uh, it can only help uh, increase the viewership. Yeah, and um, I wanted to compliment you on, you know, this is kind of a revolutionary idea, not the streaming, but, you know, you, I started wondering, who's this guy, voice of backgammon? Uh, but it was a great idea, you know, and so the game progresses incrementally with guys, people that come up with new innovations, so... Congrats Great. On Thanks, that. Ray. Appreciate that. Great. The pleasure to have you. Again, right. congratulations. Thank you for joining the voice of Backgammon with our interview with Ray Fogerland. And we'll be back shortly with the interview of the winner of the 5th Connecticut State Championships Finals, uh, Bauman Zandi. Stay tuned. <laughs>